Hey what is up guys, TV here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my new videos on this channel. And so we have another video for you guys and this is with regard to adding additional Google accounts to your Huawei native GMS installed on your Huawei devices. And if you're interested, let's go ahead and start. All right, and so we are back. So to begin with this process, guys, so basically we are going to need a couple of things here. So first would be our minimal ADB at Fastboot tool that would look like a black screen here, this one, and the small little uh, text file with the command that we'll be using later on. So the third thing would be our Icebox um, app on the phone. And then also this tool here that I made to add our accounts and lastly of course your google account itself your google account credentials username and a password definitely all right so once you have those ready um and by the way all the uh, things that we need here especially with the with the tool and the app that we are going to need will be linked down in this description of this video below so make sure you download it and install minimal adb on your pc first and then open the text file here to have it ready just like this okay and of course on our phone install the icebox from your play store so let me show you here what it's going to look like this one here by uh rooks in he i'm not sure if i'm reading that correctly but you know it is what it is man and so as well as installing the file here the uh, this one that, that's checked right now and it should look like what we have here let me just check where I got that save uh, there this one so it's just a modded uh, micro G as well so anyways here's what you need to do guys so just make sure to open icebox on your phone okay so this is now the start of the process itself once you have all the things needed ready and then here just copy on your pc the uh, command that we need make sure there's no um additional you know spaces or characters just in case copy it and then click here and paste it first don't enter yet because in our phone, we also gonna need to make sure that our USB option here would show as file transfer. Now, here just disregard whatever is popping up on your screen yet, okay? And then make sure as well to uh, activate your um, developer option. So once it's activated by clicking a couple of times here under the build number of your EMUI about info then that option would appear under system and updates and here developer options and here under USB debugging make sure it's turned on all right now that everything is ready open back icebox just like that leave it in the background and then here we can now click back anywhere in in the black screen or window here and then click enter and then we're just going to be waiting for the word success let me just click again uh, hold on one second here there you go so I get the word success here and now here our icebox app is reacting to it now just go under the system uh, tab now if you if you're getting prompts here to uh, you know click on a tick box that says got it if it's your first time so just click on that and then look for Google so let's look for Google here should be G okay all right so now we are gonna need to uh, click both the uh, play services and Google services framework so both of them okay 
so once it's clicked here at the bottom the two apps selected just you know swipe it up so you would see the option to freeze it and do not disconnect your phone yet from your PC now it shows the pop up here uh, saying it's frozen and then we can check to see if it was done correctly by going under apps under the settings of course and search for goo open play store I mean play services if it has this enable option then that's already good now check as well with the uh, show system processes here first for the Google services framework here and if you see enable then everything is good now I'm going to uh, delete one of my accounts here just to you know just for this purpose here all right now I have deleted that account and let me show you if it's already gone here just to make sure as well okay I only have one account left right now we are gonna need to open the uh, modded micro G that I got here so basically you just need to sign in so any accounts that you would like to add or all of the accounts that you need to be on here you can also delete some of the other accounts you don't want anymore just you know uh, after the uh, ice box uh, ex executed here then I'm gonna log in first hold on one second Right. Contacting Google. All right. Now let's see if it was added successfully under accounts or user and accounts. And there you go, guys. So I got my, um, you know, other account added there successfully. Now the next thing you need to do is to go back to Icebox and then click on both of these things again. And then here just click on defrost and it's now defrosted right and of course you have to do that after all of your accounts has been added already so again I, I only have one account to add so that's why I went back to this process right away so um, let's check again here under uh, apps Google Play services no more enable option because it has been enabled already okay both of them for the framework as well and now we are going to restart our phone so let's go ahead and start our phone here and I'll go ahead and reconnect as well to my uh, screen viewer so you would see how exactly it looks like here in my screen on the phone as well so just hold on and by the way the idea there as well is to do to do it as quick as possible just you know in case that um, some errors may appear or trying to prevent that from happening but in case that you'll get errors popping up like the play protect or play protect errors thing then I have another video that would help you with that so don't worry okay so my phone has been restarted now I'm gonna reconnect let's see if it could reconnect automatically here if not I may have to do this manually so seems taking longer uh, okay I may have to close this one out and just reconnect manually Right, it's now connecting. I did not get the prompt yet to broadcast my screen, so let me just close my TeamViewer app on my phone and do this again. Sorry about the uh, delay here. So it's now reconnecting. There you go. I have the prompt here. 
and so we are back on our screen to be broad uh, broadcasted here on my PC now I'm, I'm just gonna do a little setup here to make it easy for you to see of course all right so we have restarted our device already now we are gonna check under users and accounts Google and make sure to sync them as well so as you can see this account here has been added successfully all right and pretty much that's it guys actually um, it's just really fast and simple process although you are gonna need to have access to a laptop uh, or a computer for this uh, whole thing to be done but it's gonna be worth it right so open opening uh, Play Store as well right now Play Store is alive my other account here can be toggled without any issues or errors all right guys so I hope this has helped you on your end and uh, well if you haven't yet please make sure to click that subscribe button and of course like this video hit the notification bell as well for future um, video notifications that you could get so you won't miss anything and as always thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next one peace Hello my friends, Renz Dags TV here and if you like my video, please smash that like button, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your help. Here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. And if you are on your phone, here's how you do it. Boom. Bada bim bada boom. Thank you and see ya in my next videos. Peace.